Hi, Dave Whaley here. I'm going to test the wiring harness for the coolant temperature sensor on this Volvo S60. It's a 2001 model and the problem is that with the key turned on the temperature gauge is showing no indication of life. Alright, so far the tools I've got out are my multimeter and a small screwdriver that I can use to get the plug off. In the engine compartment, you can locate the thermostat housing here and underneath. You can see the temperature sensor is screwed in right there. And the wire comes from it. It goes here. So this is the wiring harness. And I'm going to use that small screwdriver to get this undone so that I can test the terminals. All right, now, uh, you, uh, this, this here is a lock for the second piece. So you can see how the plug pitched together. And uh, so go ahead and carefully you know, work on this tab here. I think pressing it releases it and uh, take this off and you can see the terminals. Also check to see if the wires are broken or frayed on both sides. Lead to common and the red lead to the ohms and volts. Ohm is the kind of like an upside down horseshoe symbol. Not the ADC, which is amps DC. And I've set the indicator here on the ohms for, for resistance reading, and I happen to set it to 200 ohms. Now, uh, the keys are off, and to, what I'm going to do is test the lead here, uh, what I think is the negative lead coming from the wiring harness, uh, for continuity to ground. And I'm going to uh, put the red lead there on that pin. Now when I look here, I see that on uh, one one of the wires coming in is red and, and gray and on the other side it's brown and black and so if I look at it from the top the brown and black is coming in on the right it's leading to that pin so I'm gonna touch my continuity tester lead to that right pin and the black lead to this engine block All right, here we go. I've set my negative lead on the multimeter in there, I wedged it in to touch ground, showing infinity resistance right now. So I'm just gonna test this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna touch this here, and I see that it goes to 4.4 ohms. Now I'm going to touch that lead. That pin on the right, make sure that it's, sorry, my fingers are in the way, that it's tight on there. And check and see what happens. There it goes, 4.5 ohms. So that, that lead on the right there, the pin on the right, connected to ground, which tells me that this other pin, the key's off, remember, is probably going to be the, the plus voltage in it. According to my research, it should be about 5 volts when the car is on. Now I'm going to so check the volts. I'm going to change my multimeter to a voltage that's up here. And uh, this is a 12 volt system in the car, so. I'll set it to 20 volts. Okay, the indicator is set to 20 volts. It's reading 0 0.03. I suppose that's just an accuracy of this cheap multimeter. Now I'm going to turn the uh, car on, uh, the key on. 
and I'm going to touch this positively to that pin on the left that goes to the red and gray wire pin on the left and I should get a voltage reading if this wiring harness is good okay the key is on gas gauge is showing that it's working and the uh, I can hear the fan running from the interior of the car showing basically zero volts and there is this left lead Watch that there oh lo and behold about five volts went back to zero now that means that uh, I'm getting power here which is telling me that either this this part this plug is bad the wiring is bad to the temperature sensor or the temperature sensor is bad so I've narrowed it down now and then this all comes as one part when I buy the temperature sensor uh, I believe it comes with this plug as well but I'm just gonna uh, inspect this wire real good and if I don't see anything and I, I've kind of looked at it I don't see any problems here then I'm I think I've got enough information now to go ahead and replace this coolant temperature sensor gauge.